Shadow of the Tomb Raider developer Eidos Montreal has been working for years to bring Lara Croft's latest adventure to life, but the story is far from over. Join us as we go behind the scenes at Eidos Montreal for a closer look at the making of the DLC. Hi everyone, my name is Jonathan Arnaud. I'm the associate producer on Shadow of the Tomb Raider and I want to take you backstage to the production of DLCs because we want to give you something very special and we're working on very exciting stuff. So here we have one of our concept artists, Michael Veraf, who is working on one of the outfits. Basically, we're going to bring some of the fantasies of the characters and the factions that you meet in the game. In some cases, it's going to be around hunting, some cases around mimicking what Trinity, the enemy, is doing. Those thematics will be linked with the narratives of the side missions and the tombs. So everything is linked together. Every DLC is a big new narrative that you get to explore. We are adding stuff to the main game and we're pushing the consoles to, you know, pretty much their limits. <laughs> so adding anything in terms of memory, in terms of the game's performance, it's really a challenge and we, we have to pull some magic tricks uh, <laughs> to do it. More tombs, more tombs, and more tombs. We always are listening to the fans in the community, and what we learn is that they want more tombs. They wanted more tombs, so we decided to bring more and add a new twist to it. The last month of the project is all about the very little details, adding polish, being back to a more conceptual, creative uh, phase. It's really exciting for them. It makes them even come with crazy designs and, and weird ideas. They're almost like a revived energy. They get to tackle new content and new mechanics. So it's really exciting to see that the team kind of motivates themselves because we're giving them like a whole new arena in which to play. The city of Montreal is home to countless game studios and has seen the rise of many AAA franchises. What is it about the city that gives rise to such talented developers? Most of all, we are uh, storytellers. It's in the core of a lot of uh, studios in Montreal. I know it's in the DNA of, uh, of Idols Montreal, that's for sure. We love mixing carefully crafted action and meaningful stories. We listen to the players and we listen to also to our own feedback. And I feel that's giving Shadow of Tomb Raider a different flavor uh, that's really specific to Montreal than Idols. With the main game available now and the DLC starting to roll out, how does the team look back on their time crafting Lara's latest adventure? We've all been working on, on that game for a few years now. I've been working also on Rise before that, so it's really a part of my life. I feel like it's a tremendous privilege to work on such a high-profile franchise. At first, when I started on the franchise, it was, a, it was pretty intimidating, you know? It has to be perfect, and the emotional pace going with that has to be too. It's always a bit bittersweet, you know, the end of a, of a project, the end of a game. With the team, it, like, you become family. You spend so much time together, all focused on achieving the same goal. And there's this day where you know the game's going to be out there and it doesn't belong to you anymore. It it's, it's doesn't belong to us. It's going to belong to the players. It's like sending your child into the world or something. So yeah, it's exciting. It's a huge responsibility and we really hope that people will enjoy Shadow of the Tomb Raider and, and the DLCs.